I can't believe I'm saying this, and I kind of hate myself for doing it, but I will wear a maid outfit on stream on the next Hacker Replay video if this video reaches 100,000 likes in the next two weeks. Now, I know this goal is unrealistic, but I have to make you guys work for it. Good luck. So, chat, today we have six matches for the first half that we'll go over. Two Villa, two Oregon, one Coastline, one Border. I chose a very specific match to be our first one, and it is this one. There's a reason why I chose it. So, in this series, we try to find and expose hackers, people who download cheats in order to get an unfair extra. advantage in game. The one thing that a lot of people really need to remember is there is a difference between cheating and exploiting. We have James Greer who's accusing Hisoka.fg and Delta.fg. What he's accusing him of is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. The two operator glitch, or exploit, as some people would call it. Here we have two Arunis being used in one round. So, the reason why I bring this up is because it is a very popular exploit right now. A lot of people are using it. It's not cheating. It's not a hack. It's not a cheat. It is an exploit. And the way you can tell the difference is because cheating and hacking require downloading third-party software to make it where you can actually like see where people are or have less recoil or whatever. Having two of the same operators is a bug within the game. I don't know how the exact process. I'm sure there's videos out there that will tell you how to do this, but somehow, some way, these people get two of the same operator. And the game just lets it happen. It's an exploit. From my understanding, I don't believe you can have more than two of the same operator, but I could be wrong. I believe how, whatever the process is that you have to do it, uh, I don't think you can get more. But I could be, could be wrong. But you got the one. Let me see. Do they keep doing it? I would really love to see them go double Monty. And honestly... I love that this is an exploit. I find it hilarious that you can go two of the same operator. They have two fuses. Like, that is just hilarious to me. And I would love to see this be added as a temporary arcade game mode. But knowing Ubisoft, we probably will just get instead Golden Gun coming back again. We have two fuses. I'm very curious if... Um, the game forces the one fuse to run no skins. Because he has no uniform. I don't think he has a weapon skin. Honestly, the only thing I'm really doing right now is just going through trying to get a good thumbnail. I want to see what they can pull off. I've seen a lot of clips like this with, like, double Monty. Um... Double fuse is an interesting strat, considering two fuses doesn't really do a whole lot. Potential for a thumbnail here. We can maybe make this work. That could work. We'll end, the, we'll end this match here, because obviously they're not cheating. It's just double operators, which I know sounds really dumb to just brush it off, but it is just a known exploit. I really, really do hope that Ubisoft turns that into a arcade game mode. I think that would be amazing. Like, who wouldn't love to have... Imagine doing five blitzes, rushing sight. Okay, now we'll move on to the next match, which will actually be a accusation one that I don't know whether is true or not, but coastline match, right? Yes. And we have Posh Posh, who is accusing Akai Shushi 77. Posh Posh is going glass. Interesting choice on coastline. 
is yes, a kind of shushi. I just love decks, bro. Whenever a hacker plays Pulse, or like an accused person plays Pulse or Valkyrie, I'm always curious uh, how it'll you know play out because. This is a nine round match. If they're Valkyrie or Pulse, then they can just be like, oh, I'm not cheating. I just saw you on a camera or a heartbeat scanner. And then it gets really hard for us to tell whether they are telling the truth or not. Oh my god, the lion scan is just permanently playing. He has no more, so it's not going to stop it from playing, I don't think. Are you just going to sit here the entire round? They're planting. Sights and penthouse and Valkyrie's still over here. What is this guy doing? <laughs> so this is the guy who's accused of cheating. Sitting in hookah. The entire round. It's now a 2v1 with 25 seconds left and a diffuser down. Okay. I don't think it's possible for him to win this. Like, he can't even make it. No, he can't make it. <laughs> Alright. Interesting first round for the accused. Lion scanning is done, don't worry. I did have... I didn't write down which ones it was, but I did have a few people write down in the text documents with it. Nice, just to sort of out camera. They were like, oh, this guy toggled on after round whatever. I don't know which matches those were in. It could be this one, could not be. Um, we'll see. I just don't want to have, like, in my notes being like, oh, they toggled on in this round and then just waste my time. Rather figure it out myself or see it for myself. And so far, just with the first round, I can't imagine saying this person's cheating. Sitting on the opposite side of the map on cameras, the fuser's down on site, and he's just not coming back until too late. So far, he is just reacting to most things. I'm waiting for him to peek this and just pre fire. No. Nope. Also, they definitely made something weird with replay. When he aims downside and unnames downside, it gets super, like, jittery. Wonder which update broke that. Oh. Who is this fighting him? Oh, it's Gridlock. Okay, he's the last one left on his team again. They accuse that guy of cheating. If you were to look at that and say this guy must be cheating, I really, really want to see what your aim looks like. Thanks for sub, Pierce Phoenix. But, like, maybe maybe in round four he toggles on. Maybe they're down three to zero and he's like, I don't want to lose this, so he toggles on. We'll see. Doesn't seem like it. He's still reinforcing. He's the only one on his team who's really reinforcing. I did notice one thing. Which, by the way, I will say, when I'm editing these videos for YouTube, I notice so many more things about people who are suspicious, and I'm like, man, why, how did I not notice that on stream? Because I guess like I'm just like thinking too much and not really paying attention to uh, what's happening. I just love dicks. Smiley right face. there, he's just like pre-firing a lot, but nothing crazy. Okay, a minute left. For once in their life, blue team has the advantage. He just saw a thermite cross, didn't shoot. Planting by bed. Okay. So blue team is up three to zero. This guy must toggle on. Like I am expecting in this next round, he is just going to walk into sight and go and kill everyone. 
because so far, like, if, if that is an accusation, or if he, like, takes that and makes an accusation out of it, that is insane. He didn't toggle on. We know that for sure. Like, that is what I would expect out of my viewers. Okay, he kind of just looked at the guy through the wall. Like, maybe he has walls, but his aim's still garbage. Like, he looked over there, but he could have just been looking at Master. We'll see. Easily be able to hear this. There might be a reason why it looks so painful to us. Is it possible the match replay is not accurately portraying his recoil? Because here, he gets a headshot on Mute, and I can't even see where the bullet could have possibly hit Mute's head. So he hits this box. Mute's over here, by the way. Or Capcan? That's Capcan. Yeah, that's Capcan. Look at how that flicked to him and then killed him. Could be a match replay bug. Could be, I don't know, something. Okay, he drones. He sees the guy go into billiards. So him pushing here is not suspicious by any means. Gets a headshot. One thing I'm going to go check. When he kills Doc. God, that was so hard to see again. Not a headshot. For once, he actually kills like someone and gets decent shots off here. His reaction's still so slow, though. They traded. Okay. So clearly, Gridlock wins it here. The only thing I would say has been, that has been suspicious was that Cap can't kill. The fact that he, like shot 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 and it looked like within one frame went from off onto his head everything else though like doc kill obviously not suspicious mute kill you saw him on drones the only like i could see why he would report him for the cap can kill but anything else i just i don't understand how they could keep how could they could be suspicious when he whiffs like 50 shots and no one else hits them He's just standing next to the door. That door must... It must be barricaded. And this match replay is just bugged. Because there's no way they're both standing next to the door, next to each other, not shooting each other. I refuse to believe. It's going to bug me if I don't find out. He throws a camera out. Okay. Yeah, he re-barricades it. I needed closure. He didn't see anyone. Don't know what the hell he's looking at now. Now he sees Valkyrie. Okay, he didn't even like shoot exactly where the guy was. Guy gets fire bolted. He's ready for the rotate. Defense of shots. Looked fine. He has the drone pointing out where Valkyrie is. He pinged it. You could hear that. Happy Tau kills him. He's fine. Ash gets a kill on the other side of the map. It's another kill. Classic. Ash got a triple, Ace got one kill, and it was after he had drawn them out, pinged them. Thing is, uh, he looks like he at least has some recoil control.
his teammates on site. He's looking at the rotate. Okay, so like I don't think there is the no recoil hack because he does have some control on his recoil. It's not completely going to the roof. Doesn't look like he really knows where people are coming from. His reaction time is abysmal. He keeps looking in really weird places though. Like he looks at somewhere that people can't even push from. If he plays this like a normal person, he wins for free. Legion just walks past the diffuser, doesn't matter. Gets a free dicks, kill. Uh, I don't know, I haven't seen anything. Must be copper. This is why I'm excited for the uh, Guess Your Rank video. Which I might record tomorrow and then have it come out on Friday. That's maybe the plan. Oh wait, they just reported him now. They, they had just reported him, saying that he was cheating. Interesting. Honestly, the only thing that's suspicious there is the fact that he actually managed to control his recoil for once. When before, he had great difficulty even taking two shots. He's still watching the window, even though Zofia repelled off pre-firing pieces, so. It reads like he's playing legitimately. One's in luggage, now in aqua. About to push up, he got dock. This guy must be playing on like, he's playing from the ISS. This man is so delayed. I think he's like probably like in here somewhere. We don't have to keep too many tabs on what he actually does in the round because we haven't seen him do anything suspicious. Like if he had walls he could have easily called out that the Cade was there. He missed him on the drone and his teammate died for it. His recoil is just as bad as it was before. He doesn't realize that the Cade is prone. Which again shows evidence of not having walls. Assuming he's not trying to hide it super well, which doesn't look like he is. I was about to say, why the fuck is he aiming at the floor like that? There's a barricade there, apparently. God. I'm getting the screen effect constantly, because I think the person who submitted is constantly moving from drone to drone. Last one left is a Mozzie who's one in six. Dicks, so there should be a free kill for anyone on the orange team. It's the thing that I'm like, it has to be a low rank player because like, what is he looking at? He's just staring at nothing. He's staring at places that the person can't push from. He's just kind of holding angles, hoping that the person does push. He can just spray him down. All right. This last round better have something crazy, otherwise this is not really a reportable player. I would assume that if you're playing, I'm guessing this rank is probably like bronze. Although I think it actually is unranked. But if this was like bronze rank, I could understand why someone would be like, oh, this person got 12 kills, they're cheating. Because no one gets that many kills in that rank. The site lined up with the drone. I guess that could be a little bit suspicious. Oh, the phone just rang. I miss when Dokubi had frags. Like here. Lion shoots the gun six, and the minute he breaks it, he flicks over to where Lion is. Listen for it. Flicks over. That's a little weird. 
But again, like, we've had so many other instances where he's just missed people. He doesn't know where they are. So it's like, does he have walls there? Is he toggling them on and off? Maybe. But nothing consistent enough to be like, no, this is 100% guaranteed. It's just some small things that we're questioning a little bit. Because, like, here, if he had walls, why is he holding this and just staring at nothing? No one's coming this way. You can't see anyone on the right here or even on the left. So he's in a bad position. Because now someone's finally pushing up. Oh, no, and they left. But he's still holding the angle, so it's not like he knows that they went away or anything. Or in the last 40 seconds. So, yeah, I think something like what he heard with the lion, he just turned because... He, like, he heard it, and he's just like, oh, explosion, turn and look. Dokubi just sprinted right at him. I don't understand why Dokubi did. There was 20 seconds left in the round. They just sprint through luggage. He doesn't know where the last person is. Gridlock is putting down the tracks. 1v1. I mean, let me guess. When Gridlock killed Doc, she was behind the bomb as well, right? So, assuming this is a normal match where people are communicating, chances are that the team probably was like, hey, she's right behind the bomb. Like, directly on the bomb. I don't even think we have to do a poll, do we? Like, I think it's pretty obvious that, at least from what we can tell, he's not cheating. Didn't look like he had walls in any case. Kind of just look like a silver facing other silvers or bronze players. Don't think anything there. The only small thing I would say was just a little bit suspicious, but happened multiple times, was when the game got, kind of got stuttery and he headshot the cap can when he was shooting at a box. Like, that shouldn't have happened, but maybe the replay just bugged out. I don't know. I guess further proof that this guy is not cheating. He is a level 243. And he is a consistent bronze slash silver. He submitted a file with his thing. It's X-A-W-E-R, who's accusing the barcode on the enemy team. And he said in the third round, there were lines of code that appeared on his screen. In the replay. Don't know what that means, but I am very curious to find out. He might be an obvious cheater. We'll see what this lines of code business is. He's pre-firing things. He pre-fired where the one enemy was spawn peeking pretty confidently. Well, he's definitely cheating. He's not pre-firing or peeking confidently, he literally knows where they are. Okay. So we'll go to round three. I'm very curious what this lines of code things means. I don't think it's possible for a cheat to affect what you see on screen, especially in a match replay or in a kill cam. I like how he keeps uh, trying to pretend like he's not cheating by pre-firing uh, different spots where no one is. I believe he's also trying to down people intentionally so he doesn't get a... Uh... Okay. So. What he's seeing there... There are lines of code, he is right. What it is, is that since he's the one who submitted it, when he sends in his Flores drone, and it gets caught by the pest, you get this text, but if you go to any person's screen, oh, except for these two apparently, 
What? <laughs> Doesn't show when you're zoomed in on them, but whatever. It'll just show that mozzie error thing. I'm not trying to be all high and mighty. I only took like one semester or one year of coding at university, but I love uh, this like pseudo code here. So you get the string. What is this? Like, what is the point of this? I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. Developers. They ruined my immersion. Moving on to the fourth one, we have Erber, who's accusing Enopi. I saw this TikTok video where it showed messages about the future of Siege and how Ubisoft is going to add all these things that will be better for Siege in the Siege community. Things like trying to fix mouse and keyboard on console, a warm-up mode that's TDM, adding new maps instead of reworking them. Yes, that was all part of the Siege AMA, or the Siege Dev AMA. Um, here's why I might not be too, you know, thrilled about a lot of the things they mentioned. The TDM slash warm-up mode has been in the game files for I think five years. I think it was there since year two or year one. So that means that they've been working on that for five or more years. It's taken them this long. There's clearly some bottlenecks or some issues. I, I don't know. I just think it's going to be not as good as we were hoping. Hmm. Do you guys see what I see? I just love decks, bro. He's watching them through the wall. He keeps looking at them, trying to see where they're going. I'm trying to, whenever I'm watching these, I'm trying to decipher whether people are running wireframe or they're running um, wall hacks. I feel like when someone is running wireframe, they tend to look at things and be like, oh shit, the person's not there. They're like farther away. When it's walls, they just know where they are because the walls give a pretty good representation in 3D space, whereas wireframe does not. It's very hard to look at. If he is cheating and it took him four shots to kill a thermite, pretty bad. Keep in mind that this guy accused his own teammate, so this has to be a pretty obvious cheater, I would imagine. What disgusts me here is this guy's not even running the uh, 1.5. Okay, so he immediately aims towards them. He misses that the Yana is already peeking him. And look like he flicked over to her. He dies. And just looked at the guy through the wall again. Like, it's all these small things that I keep noticing. And you can only excuse it for so long. Like, he obviously doesn't have aimbot, but walls seems more and more likely. Like, uh, I mean, he could be checking that corner. He heard, he could have heard Yana. Maybe he's checking the corner. Seems so bad though. Like we are in round three, and he's gotten two kills. Why do bad people get good gun skins? Well, to be fair, a lot of people who are bad also cheat, so they uh, use the unlock all, which gives them every gun skin they could ever want. But in general, yes, bad people do get better skins. And I think it's because the game realizes that you have a low KD. And it uh, tries to give you more skins so that you enjoy playing the game for longer. Even though you're doing horrible at it. I was going to say, like, here we go. Like, he's about to do it. But then he just held white. And then died to the bandit. I already see some people in chat being like, oh my god, he's not cheating, blah, 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 blah. It's possible, he could not be cheating. But we have to watch the entire match, because what if in round 8 he tog was on, and then just destroys everyone, and before we even get to that, we're like, nope, he's not cheating. Then we look bad. Like something like that. Let 
Imagine if we had seen just the first two rounds and we were like, nope, he's not cheating. But then we see that. I'm like, that's pretty fucking suspicious. Could be a one off. Or it could not be. And there we have it. it looks like he toggled on in round five. Yeah, he's also aiming at them through the walls from ways away. So we are right to be suspicious of all those convenient lineups. Like, look at this. I guess that one you could argue would be at the doorway, but we, we know he's cheating at this point. Those two kills where he just lined them up through the wall. Oh my god, he does not have a aimbot, that's for sure. The fact that you have a series about finding hackers is a great example of why I quit this game. Yeah, I talked about it in a previous hacker replay video. Where I'm like, the fact that I can capitalize on how prevalent cheaters are in this game is just an example of how much it's going down. Because, obviously, it happens in a lot of games. Like, you have Overwatch, or not Overwatch, um, CSGO, where people use the Overwatch program to make their content by watching cheaters and stuff. But, like, I feel like in Siege, it's a huge, huge problem. I don't know CSGO that well, so, like, maybe... Maybe their hacker problem's even worse than ours, but... Yeah. Definitely just goes to show what kind of state the game is in. That I can just easily make content on cheaters. The one's in bathroom. Before we say anything, let's see. So Ash is droning over here. The other two are over there. Ash never even gets to the bathroom, is droning over there. And this guy is already like flashing and he knows that he's over here. And he's ready for him. There's another one. Like, he clearly has walls and he's trying to hide it. But he's not a good player. And there we have it. This is the one piece we needed, where it's like 100% without a doubt he is cheating. What a great pre fire. So, we can tell for sure that he's cheating. And he's a really bad cheater as well, because he has a 0 0.69 KD. And he's still in gold. And he's cheating. Seeing him be in bronze, silver, gold... We'll give it one more shot. I don't want to, but like... We'll just... We'll, we'll watch it back. One more round. Is anyone even droning to give him a semblance of... Nope. Yeah, he is, uh... There, there's the full confirmation. What is wireframe? So, in order to save a lot of computing power, what programs will let you do is instead of seeing it in real time with the real graphics and stuff, they'll let you see a wireframe. Which is basically where all you see are the vertexes, the edges, um, and what are the other ones called? Lines or whatever. So you can see what it looks like without having to have a huge load on your computer. So you can, it's mainly used for just the motion. So you can see what the motions look like. There was a thing on PC where you could go to your graphics settings on your graphics card and make it load up wireframe only. So basically the entire map would look like this. All the models would have this. The walls would all have that. Like, this is what it would look like. It's really hard to look at, and it, I don't understand why people would be willing to do it. But, like, let's say there's someone three buildings down over here. You would be able to see them through this. It would just have layers and layers of wires that would make it really hard to see, but you can see them. Remember, remember Parabellum from Six Invitational? They had a player who was a, like, new player or a temporary sub or something, 
and he got caught, I think it was two weeks before Invitational, using Wireframe in a ranked match. So he's like eyeing people up through the walls. That's Wireframe. So like he can see them, but he just doesn't know exactly where they are. So sometimes people won't actually notice where the cheaters are, or the people are, because there's so much stuff in the way. But he even later came out and admitted, he was like, yeah, I was using Wireframe. We just watched Oregon, we'll watch the Villa one, and then we'll do Oregon for the last one. I believe this is an overtime match as well. So in this one we have Rancor41, who is accusing Taptio... And then he had a whole paragraph of stuff that explained like what was happening, but I didn't want to watch it or read it all because I didn't want to go in with preconceived you know, notions of them cheating. It's a nine round match, so I can't imagine if he is cheating that it's going to be incredibly obvious. Shot his teammate's drone instead of destroying the mute jammer. Makes sense. Okay. They look like pretty standard kills. Okay, um, teammate Hibana is not watching anyone, she's watching a drone. Where do they have drones? They have one in Master. Okay, so they know she, or that mute's below because he shotgun someone through the hatch. I assume, so Twitch kind of wants to go watch the main stairs, so I guess Nomad was like, we'll just watch the side stairs, watch both sides. Um. <clears throat> That's not like a crazy, crazy play. Okay, he's watching for a angle from which no one is peeking, so... That would be one credit towards not using walls, because if he had walls, he would know no one's over there and just look away. Said he watched it for a few seconds. He just saw someone cross. He doesn't realize that the mute's in the corner. I think. Oh, the mute dropped. Maybe he does know that he already left. Point that back. Runs past the mute, takes a shock and shot. I might have got a headshot, that didn't look like a headshot, but... Did this Jaeger just get in a fight with someone? He's shooting at Valkyrie. The Jaeger did sprint towards the stairs, so... If you're standing here, you would hear that a lot. Like, that is a really loud place to run. Bona basically fires the millisecond Jaeger appears. Like, good reaction. Could have been ready because he heard the footsteps running across. He's watching Vault, which no one is in. Looks at his teammates through the wall. Ella kind of just whiffed. The only thing that I've found slightly suspicious so far is that Hibana's reaction seems super strong, or like super fast, when they actually are peeking someone. But then we had something like the mute where Hibana just kind of ran past and then reacted after they got shot. So... Inconsistencies means that it could seem more legitimate, just because programs are very rarely inconsistent. Humans are inconsistent. Because, like, the reaction time he had on Jaeger and Maestro were both amazing. Like, really, really fast. But again, he keeps watching places where no one's peeking or no one is, so that makes me think that he doesn't have walls, because if he had walls, he would know it's safe. Of course, unless he's trying to not be obvious. 
just kind of walks in. Let's watch this back. So, who was that? Mute is watching that. Shoots at Hibana once she crosses. Hibana turns around. Oh, that's kind of suspicious. Instead of firing as soon as the like corner was apparent, like instead of firing right there, he specifically waits till it's right here. But like if they shot at you from closet, you know it's not a crazy thing to do. It's just to spray as soon as you see any signs of like destruction or whatever. He waited for the rook who sprinted at him. Mm. Like, I understand people can just be bad and walk like right into your shots. But it just feels like these people are doing it so consistently that I'm like, this Habana is... I was going to say the luckiest person in the world, but clearly not. Also, to the Hibana's credit, like the millisecond that Ella was about to peek here, she looks away. If she had walls, she would have killed Ella there. This round's almost over. There's only like 30 seconds left. Oh. What? Wait, what? What just happened? Okay. <laughs> this guy trying to get a maestro, he is. How did Ace win that with a vertical grip versus the Vigil's oh, also vertical grip, but SMG? That flick? We'll fast forward a bunch. Oh, it looks like this is a very fast round. Oh. Looks like he's gonna go flank from the window. He hears the Yana break the closet window. Nothing crazy there. He saw the person repel, which honestly, that's a pretty impressive spot from that far away. Kinda ready for that guy, I guess. A little weird. Did he toggle on? He just walked through and knew exactly where everyone was. He could have toggled on. And the only reason they didn't win there is because they traded. He was trying to do the human frost mat thing. What is this? Did this guy toggle as well? Okay, he sees him. He sees him again. Hold on. In the last shot before he gets the kill, this one, it looks like he aims down, down sight at him before he even peeks the window. He does. So these guys might be cute together and uh, they might have just toggled on. Maybe that's why. The like blob defect and Jed Z guy were team killing, being like, fuck you guys, we don't want to win my cheating or whatever. I don't know. You just. The bandit just got killed by the Twitch. i do something fancy there, I don't know. Oh wait, he actually downed the Twitch. I just realized. Interesting. I am not entirely sure whether 
the Tabasco guy toggled on or not. He has a call that he downed him. I think you would have seen the points pop up, obviously. It looked like he lined it up through the wall and just didn't shoot because he wasn't sure if he was actually going to be there or not. Let's see. He kind of did line that up through the wall. I'll go back and see how the bandit like tracks the twitch if he did. Oh my god. But look, like he aims. He's aiming at him all... I guess kind of. Then peeks like that and just does not react. Be ready for the twitch. There is the very slightest possibility that the bandit could have heard the twitch sprint there. And that's why he drops here in prones. But if I were a betting man, I would say that he probably has walls on now. Because it looks like he uh, just dropped and knew that Twitch was going to be there, even though Twitch had no reason to be known. I think the guy on stairs already shot at someone, right? He shot the drone. It's a pretty standard kill. I get that the Valkyrie is, like, running here. So now the second time where he's prone, just waiting for them, and then hip-fired and killed them. Did he just accidentally shoot at someone who's across the map? God, I hate that we have these repel noises. Actually, he did. He shot at someone through the wall. The shots are coming from vault. And he instinctively just shoots at a guy there. And he does the same thing to the bandit, who is on the other side. In the hallway. He does it twice in one shot. Sure, you could argue that he's aiming for like pre-firing spots. But he's not really. Let me guess, now he's gonna hold 90 and wait for the bandit to come around. Wait. We gotta go figure out what the Hibana just did. Oh, this was just on cameras. So, this makes me, right here, this makes me a little bit suspicious because he, he 360s and aims up. What's he aiming at? He already destroyed the camera. He was the one who destroyed 90 camera. Been a while. If he's aiming at the camera, it's a little fucking weird to be doing that. He just almost killed his... Friend. Ella did just kill someone, so they do have a call at least to where she is. She just killed someone else. Yikes. Alright, we're moving on to the last round. I am. I'm confused. I don't know. I think the Tabasco guy probably toggled on. They get shot at from the rappel. It makes sense that he would expect someone to be there. With how much he's lining it up makes me a little bit suspicious. Because, like, he quick leans to bait out a shot. doesn't see him there, but he knows he's already aiming at him through the wall. That time he finally sees him and then he gets the kill. Could have just been a good play. It is possible. 
You could probably hear the rappel there. Looks like he missed. He's ready for both these people on the left. Oh, he does not. Let's see what Vigil was doing in the meantime. That's like the fifth time now where someone's just walked perfectly into his sight. I wish I could have people just walk in like that. Oh, we're about to finish and he is going to finish either 18 and 5 or 19 and 5. He just died there. I don't know. Um, there were some suspicious things. If if I had to accuse someone, I would guess that Tabasco probably toggled his walls on because it looked like he went from being very negative and not doing anything to suddenly like pre-firing people from 50 meters away with a pistol and just like knowing where they were. We'll look up their stats and see if there's anything suspicious. If they go from, like, silver players to uh, to platinum, then, you know, that could help validate a claim of them being cheaters, because they were playing... I don't want to say they were playing, like, platinum players, but... Uh, with an almost 80% win rate. Eh, I mean... His casual kitty is not anything crazy, so it probably is just a smurf account. Level 46, no ranked matches. I don't think there was enough evidence to support walling. It did seem a little weird in round 6 when Vigil just went off and knew where every single person was without callouts or anything like that, but... Uh, I mean... Uh, I wouldn't say there was enough evidence to support a claim of cheating. I would guess smurfing, and then the enemy team was probably just worse, but there were some suspicious things, and I would say, I can't say that they're cheating, but I would, if I had more evidence, maybe I would, but I don't know. It just looked like so many people were just walking into his line of sight. Like he was constantly just aiming at nothing, and people would just walk in and he'd shoot them. In this match, we have the milkman who is accusing Schmoblet. The prep phase isn't over. And the round is already one third done. Makes me feel like we might have an obvious case here. Okay. Was that six shots? Shot for no reason. What is he doing? Okay, well, he made the last match easy for us. I I need to watch this. We know he's cheating, but I need to watch this. Or wait, oh, is this the... No, is this the barricade glitch? Barricade glitching? Okay. So not cheating necessarily yet. Did we just watch a way to replicate that? Is that how you do it? I've never seen how people actually do it. So barricade glitch there. I might just speed up through this. I think the reason why he would accuse him is because of that, where he just shot him through the barricade with the barricade exploit, but uh We still have to watch everything just in case. Standard just walked in, got a kill. You can't lose and you have to use these exploits. Come on, man. He's trying to do it again. I really want to know how people figure this stuff out. Like, how do people do this? Like, who who has the time? Yeah, he went castle. I know castle can, can do it. Yeah, so 
we can probably end it here. It's fairly obvious that this guy is just going to constantly be doing the barricade exploit and probably getting a bunch of kills for it. Ubisoft did say themselves that they do not want to ban people who do these exploits because they find that like they don't want to punish someone for finding it, which is dumb. Yeah, he's, he's constantly trying to do the barricade exploit, you can tell. And he very clearly isn't cheating because he has horrible aim. But that is another match in the same replay um, session where it's not a cheat, it's an exploit. But that is it for the first session. So what did we have? We had I just love Dex, bro. two exploiters, um, one, two obvious cheaters, and then two people... Actually, no. So two exploiters, two cheaters, one person who was definitely not cheating, and then one who was maybe. But we don't have enough evidence to conclude. I want to throw something in. As he's swinging the door, he pre-aims where the Jaeger is through the wall and aims for the head, but Sludge gets the kill. Now, 